and welcome to today's Leading with Purpose Digest. Today, I'm going to talk about how to manage the unconscious bias in the workplace. Many organizations, such as McKinsey and Harvard Business Review, have given such much needed guidance on this topic and have documented several strategies to navigate them. And today, I'm going to talk about a few. One, raise awareness. Encourage employees to recognize their biases by providing education and training on what unconscious bias is. This can involve workshops, discussions, and case studies that highlight how biases can influence our day-to-day -day decision making. Two, implement processes and structures. Introduce procedures that minimize the impact of bias in key areas such as hiring, performance evaluations, and promotions. For example, using blind resume screening and using data points from hiring tools such as assessments or diverse hiring panels can help mitigate bias in the recruitment process. Three, encourage self-reflection. Encourage employees to reflect on their own biases and how that might affect their judgments and interactions with others. This can involve activities such as journaling, self-assessment exercises, or regular check-ins with a mentor or coach. Four, promote diversity and inclusion. Foster a culture of diversity and inclusion where all employees feel valued and respected. This can involve promoting diversity in leadership positions, celebrating different perspectives, and creating opportunities for open dialogue and collaboration among teams. And five, hold people accountable. Hold individuals accountable for their actions and decisions, especially when they may be influenced by bias. This can involve setting clear expectations for behavior, providing feedback, and coaching when bias is identified, and addressing any instances of discrimination or unfair treatment promptly and effectively. By implementing these strategies, organizations can create a more inclusive workplace where everyone has an equal opportunity to succeed, regardless of their background or identity. Effectively managing unconscious bias is an ongoing journey that requires commitment, education, and conscious effort. Dame Leadership, through its team workshops, empowers organizations to navigate this trip. By embracing these strategies and cultivating a culture of awareness and inclusion, you can create workplaces where unconscious bias takes a backseat. Please take time to read our blog regarding this topic and check out our site at dameleadership.com. As always, we look for services to help you become a better, more purposeful leader.